if you checked out part one yet, go check out part one. I'm telling you, you need to hear that. But of course, part two is going to help you just as much. So if you only watch part two, still go watch part one. All right, you're going to check it out. So look, look, I'm telling you right now, you don't have any type of malice intent. This is how you know you are chosen because God wouldn't have given you. You don't have that spirit. God would not, God would not have allowed that spirit to compromise you. This is why you've been like, you know, you know, the 44, the one for, you know, like many are called, but very few are chosen because AKA hence you can't be in that low state, that low vibrational state where you're competing with other people. So you're trying to like, because you feel some sort of like, I don't know, lack or self impotence or like, you don't feel, you don't feel confident with self. This is how you know those individuals are not chosen. The ones who don't feel confident with self, it's not chosen. I'm telling you. That's why it just gives it away. That's why people, or let's just say, I won't say people. I'll say scenarios that claim that you just study their physical. You can tell for yourself. What's up, YouTube? I'm Chris, and right now you're checking out Eidos. Before we start this message, we're going to do a 21 breath guided meditation. I did say that on part one. We did do a guided meditation on part one. So if you missed that, do not miss this. The 21 breath, let's go. start this message so i'm telling you right now that is how you know like god has like chosen you or like has called you to do something i don't know big or that's how you know your destiny cannot be compromised or tainted or messed with by anything because you are like you're not in competition because god didn't put that spirit in you because god gave you something else god gave you his spirit that is why you don't compete with other motherfuckers. You only compete with yourself to bring out your better greatness. No different than Dragon Ball Z. Look at Dragon Ball Z. Goku and Vegeta. There. Well, Vegeta kind of competes with Goku, but still, he competes with Goku to better himself. So it still turns out to be a positive thing. He transmuted all that hate into positivity. So, and then he utilized it to help the planet. Look at Goku. Goku constantly competes with himself. He is not in competition with anybody. He's not trying to one-up people. He's not trying to better people. If anything, he admires people, right? And seeks like seeks to be great like them, no different than a child. It's the same analogy. That's God. And this is how you know the spirit of God is within because they still have that childlike vision. You look up to things and you admire, so you strive to do those things. No different than Goku and then Vegeta. I'm telling you right now. That is how you know God has chosen you to do your purpose or do a, a big or do or do a purpose that is great to you. That's gonna fulfill your life. Because not everybody's fulfilled. There's a lot of motherfuckers that's depressed. They won't even watch this video, especially to this timestamp. Because and I don't know, this is what it is. This is why people secretly compete with you because they're unhappy. A person that's happy does not compete with other individuals. Because they're too busy being happy. This is how you can tell miserable individuals, but they'll play off as they're not. 
because they're secretly competing with you. A happy individual does not secretly compete, but they inspire, support, uplift, motivate. You see the difference? So God's chosen does the following things that I just named. Inspire, motivate, uplift, encourage, upgrade. You know, that's how you know motherfucker is chosen. I don't pay attention. A motherfucker chosen ain't gonna be like, hey yo, uh, this is a hundred dollars, talk 10 minutes. You uh, guess what? You're gonna be doing the talking just so I can acquire this information to go back and tell my cats or dogs. You feel me? <laughs> like, what kind of shit? Like, what kind of shit? You see what I'm saying? Would you call an individual of such or who does such actions, would you call him a child of God, a chosen one of God? Would you call the a child, a chosen one of God, someone that does malicious things because of, I don't know, of inadequate purposes? No, you would not. Because they're not in that vibration. <laughs> so I'm just saying, man, we gotta stop calling apple oranges and oranges apples, man. Let's be real now. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm telling you right now, this is how you know you got the spirit of God. So congratulations, yo, because that spirit is just only getting nourish now because it's global warming that's why because it's not going it's something else but that's 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 message for your spirit is coming out that that's what that means so if y'all curious all right all right y'all yeah, stay tuned i got some more videos for y'all yo i'll tell you man i got a bunch of shit and this is just humor in my head and i'm just relaying it to you guys to cross how it comes to my head so stay tuned all right y'all i'm curious you guys just watch Edos, and i'm out